While Yahoo Pipes can do many things, one of the best things that it can do is filtering. So we'll use that as our quick demo example. So what we're going to do here is we are going to fetch a couple of feeds. So this gives you um, the feeds that you're going to start with and do your filtering against. So in this case we're going to use ReadWriteWeb and we're going to use the GigaOM network feed. So the next thing you want to do is take um, the filter operator and put in some criteria that you're going to filter against. So connect it to the fetch feed so it knows what it's going to be filtering. Then you can permit items that match any of these two criteria that I'm going to add. The first one is that the item title has either, either the word Google or the word Yahoo in the item title. So that's what we're going to filter against. Um, you could use any words that you wanted in here that were applicable to your business or something that you were interested in. Then the next thing you want to do since you're using multiple feeds is put a sort in place so that everything is sorted properly by date in your output. And then we'll connect this to the final pipe output. So this will be the last step in any pipe that you create. The other thing I want to point out is that Yahoo Pipes has a pretty powerful debugging operator. So you can um, look at your output and more specifically you can look at the way each individual feed element is formatted. So this will help you if you wanted to do some complex filtering for example on the titles, the authors, um, and you can see exactly how it's formatted to be able to do that. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and save your Yahoo pipe which then brings up the run pipe option here. And once you run the pipe, the next thing you can do is grab the RSS feed. And then once you have the RSS feed, you can put that in your RSS reader and voila, you have one quick Yahoo pipe. Thank you.